my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into spilling this tea, but we're also gonna get into some very unpopular opinions, okay? Starting this off with Jacquees and Deandra Sanders, which is the Deon Sanders daughter is going out with R&B singer. I should say former R&B singer because when's the last time that Jacquees decided to drop some music? Anyways, yes, these two are together. They're not only together, it looks like they're expecting a child together, but we know that these two have had a very messy and toxic start so far and why do I say that because just three weeks ago DeAndre Sanders has to go back and forth with his ex Dreezy now why was she going back and forth with Jacquees ex Dreezy because Jacquees was caught cheating on his pregnant girlfriend DeAndre Sanders texting Dreezy saying I don't want her I want you a baby don't make a family all of this embarrassing stuff and yes Dreezy decided to expose those text messages and to post them on Twitter just to get back at his pregnant girlfriend deandra sanders well now these two are back together i can't say if it's for the sake of them having a baby together but they are back together and it looks like they're on vacation with each other all jack Quays has been doing is posting deandra non-stop i guess he's trying to prove his love for deandra and prove that he's actually sorry for what he was doing also i mean it looks like deandra is about to pop anytime soon i'm not really sure how many months she is i haven't seen her post when her due date is but definitely seems like that baby is coming fast and the only thing that i will have to say for deandra is that jacques wanting to work things out with her seems very second place ish you know if you guys get what that means and what that means to me basically means oh i couldn't work things out with my ex can't be with the woman that i actually want to be with so i might as well be with you because from what he was sexting jersey he really wants him some dreezy and that's just what i believe to have this woman pregnant at home you know what i'm saying worrying and arguing with your ex and for you to be texting your ex that you really want your ex is given that the only reason why jacques is not with dreezy is because dreezy Tracy didn't want him back. Tracy said that she had to end things with Jaquise because he was constantly cheating like he did on DeAndre Sanders. And this just goes to show that it's a pattern with people who lie and cheat. They go into the next person and the next person and the next person and they do the same thing because it's a problem within themselves. They have to heal and get themselves together rather than to get into a relationship and feel like the person that they're in a relationship now, that new person is going to change them or for them to try to work on themselves with that new person i really believe in that person needs to do the work alone because while you are with a person who is a liar who is a cheater yeah they may change in the long run but it might not be for you and also if it is for you you're going to be the punching bag until they finally get it together and then you might have a lot of animosity for them when they get it together because it's like dang why you have to take me through all of this and drag me through the mud before you actually got it together but if DeAndre Sanders could actually forgive Jacquees, I think that's great. I think it's great for her to not hold animosity while she's pregnant. And that's why I'm trying to give her the lead way in her accepting Jacquees back. Do I think that he deserves it? In my honest opinion, no, I don't think that he deserves it because those were some messed up text messages for a woman to think about when she was pregnant her man was texting his ex saying look i want to be with you i wanted to have a baby with you like huh. y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section let's go ahead and move on to mike epps because i don't see where people don't see where mike epps went wrong with his statement on this interview now recently mike epps had an interview with the all the smoke podcast where he makes a statement and he says that before he leaves leaves this earth he actually his one goal is to treat a woman a hundred percent right i'm gonna repeat that mike epps said before he leaves this earth he wants to treat a woman a hundred percent right that is one of his main goals now when i seen this posted onto the blogs i seen some people in the comment section saying that they didn't understand what mike epps said wrong within that statement but then i thought again maybe the people who are saying that don't understand that mike epps has a wife and for the people who actually understand that he does have a wife I don't see how you don't see that statement is wrong. I mean, first of all, let's get into the fact that he's just saying a woman in general, which could kind of mean and insinuate that he plans on dating or having someone else after his wife. Also, instead of just saying a woman, he could have mentioned his wife. Like a better statement would have been, before I leave this earth, I plan on treating my wife 100% right. And then he could have followed that up with saying, I feel like I treat my wife probably like 85%, maybe 90% good 
good, but I want to get to a point where I'm treating my wife 100% great. Third of all, how could you not think of your wife or saying anything about your wife before or after that type of statement? Like when you're talking about treating a woman 100% good, how do you not think about your wife? Like I really believe that there's some men who forget that they're married versus there are other men who are married and all they do is talk about their wife. Like I honestly feel like you can tell when a man is in a happy marriage because it's always my wife my wife my partner my partner but then when some men forget that they're married or maybe not in the happiest marriage ever or they're not 100% happy in their marriage they kind of forget they have a wife to where they make a statement and they're like oh shoot I forgot I have a wife and I feel like unfortunately Mike Epps is one of those guys he forgot he had a wife in the moment he got comfortable in that interview he made that statement later on guess what he had to apologize to his wife his wife most likely made him apologize he wrote on to his Instagram he said again I want to apologize to my beautiful wife for ignorant and reckless I honor you and my family please forgive me okay especially with him talking about in the past he used to lie and he used to cheat with all of these women and basically that's the reason why he has a whole bunch of daughters because he feels like God is paying him back but he says that he feels very fortunate that he finally had his son but in nowhere of his statements was he bringing up his wife and I'm like Mike Epps what is going on either you and your wife probably don't have the best union maybe y'all wasn't on the best of terms before you actually got to the interview or you know I don't know the love is not really there for your wife but I'm glad he decided to issue out an apology for his wife I just don't understand how he didn't think of his wife in that scenario and for the people who say and still don't feel like there was anything wrong with Mike Epps statement because he's issuing out an apology to his wife most likely his wife found a problem with that statement so guess what there was a problem with that statement because guess whose opinion out of everybody's matter his wife and if his wife found a problem with that statement there definitely was a hundred percent something wrong with that statement I definitely feel like when you're talking about cheating and lying and stuff you definitely don't want to make it seem like you're doing that to your current wife and that's what my guess was making it seem like but hopefully things are going well in their marriage okay let's go ahead and move on to Soraya and Joey bad a I completely 100% really like the way this couple looks I will say their aesthetics I can't stand when people say oh I 100% love this couple because you don't know 100% everything that's going on with that couple so I can't say that I completely love this couple or their relationship but I will say that I like their aesthetic I like the way they look recently I seen a video of them you know taking pictures for the cover of essence I really can't wait to see the professional edits of these pictures but I do feel like this couple looks lovely together but I did want to mention this about Joey and Soraya to get a little messy here yes this is going to be a little messy what happened to Jacob Lattimore only because when Soraya and Jacob Lattimore were together I was rooting for them as well now I will have to say I do like Soraya and Joey's aesthetics a little more but Jacob Lattimore did seem like a great guy to Soraya he was always there for her um, and I only say this because before Soraya got with Joey I was following Jacob Lattimore and Soraya on Instagram and Jacob Lattimore was posting her constantly he was basically saying that you know he was grateful for her he was also posting her for either Valentine's Day or her birthday he surprised her with flowers and a dinner and everything and I'm like how did she just up and jump like the next month and then get into a relationship with Joey like there was no sign of Jacob Lattimore and Soraya having any problems within their relationship and this is exactly why I say we can't sit here and think that these celebrity couples relationships are perfect because we really don't know what's going on behind the scenes not that there may have been anything going wrong within their relationship maybe she just felt like she had a better connection with Joey than Jacob Lattimore and maybe you know nothing was wrong within their relationship but I will have to say that's a little messed up you know to do our boy Jacob Lattimore like that because from what I seen it did seem like he was doing a lot of things right look to each their own maybe there was some things going on behind the scenes but y'all let me know you know check on Jacob Lattimore check on how he's doing because that was completely out of nowhere like them breaking up and then Soraya popping out with Joey completely out of nowhere it seemed like it was a week later and she was with him maybe her and Jacob Lattimore had a publicity stuntish relationship 
Let's go ahead and move into our last topic, which is going to be Young Miami. Will Young Miami be able to revive her career? Now, we know in a recent Diddy lawsuit that was put out by one of his producers, Young Miami's name was mentioned in this lawsuit. Now, it wasn't really specifically talking about Young Miami. People were saying all sorts of things about Young Miami because they're like, look, you wanted Diddy so bad, and now this man is tarnishing your name and making you look bad because now your name is in a lawsuit well we know that young miami's show on bet is coming out sometime soon and we're wondering can she revive her name she recently posted onto her twitter and she said y'all about to know the real me real soon y'all think y'all love me now just wait and then she said yeah so obviously a lot of her fans and a lot of people are anticipating her show but with young miami i would be very careful with this show because this is her time to revive herself and for her to let her fans get a chance to really get to know her for who she is and you know like I said if I was young Miami I would show that I'm a great person in this show because now people are looking at you like Diddy got you out here doing all types of stuff you running under Diddy now we know everything that Diddy was doing most likely he was getting you to do the same stuff and now your name is in a lawsuit yeah a lot of people decided to unfollow and didn't want to you know support young Miami anymore and with this show like she said in her tweet if this show is really going to get people to love you, you better make sure everything is on point. Because people started to look at Young Miami crazy after those Diddy lawsuits. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Once again, thank you for watching Room for Tea. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. And follow me on Instagram at Room for Tea with two A's at the end. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a blessed rest of your night.